Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am currently headed to Forest City to go to church. I'm recording Sunday school, so that's why I'm going. I'm not actually teaching today, which I am not opposed to. Um, I woke up around like five, I think. No, really, the first time I woke up was like four something. So I went to bed maybe around like midnight, but I had spent most of the evening yesterday sleeping because my sleep schedule has been so off. I literally pulled an all-nighter unintentionally but it's a combination of me just randomly scrolling through TikTok and you know, getting caught up in all of that. And then I was sick last weekend. I think I was coming down with a cold and then my sleep schedule has really been off since then because I took some medicine and I just feel like it threw my sleep schedule all the way off this past week. So it's like I've been trying to recover from like that. My sleep schedule is still kind of off and hopefully having like the long weekend will do it some justice, but yeah, when my sleep schedule is off, I'm like all out of whack. And I think that's why I feel like super anxious and just not my best self mentally right now. Just because when I don't get good rest, it's just, it's not good. So, yeah, that's where we are. But I was watching this vlog this morning. It was by Lynette. I think her last name is Atkins. She's on YouTube too. And um, one thing she said that really stood out to me she was basically saying that when you're not feeling your best mentally, just kind of go through the motions until you kind of get back to that place where you feel good, you know? So basically, like when you're not motivated, just be disciplined in everything you do and then like it'll come back. You'll get back to feeling the way you, you then you'll get back to feeling the way that you want to be feeling. I feel like I'm doing a terrible job explaining that, but hopefully y'all get what I'm saying. But that really resonated with me because, you know, like when I'm not feeling my best self mentally, I'm tempted to lay in bed, sleep it away, or try to sleep it away because sleep doesn't always work. And I don't really try to just push through and do the things that I want to do all the time. So, yeah, I'm trying to get better at that. So, yeah, so here we are today. Like, I'm not feeling my best mentally. And, you know, I did want to stay in bed today, but I didn't. And I really couldn't anyway. So, yeah, hopefully by the end of today, I'll be feeling a little bit better. Um, but I'll take y'all along with me because I randomly decided to vlog. And I also got some writing done this morning. Very minimal, but it's better than nothing, honestly. So, yeah, I will check in with y'all when I get to Forest City. And y'all, it is so foggy. Look at this. Like, you can't even see. I hate when the roads be like this. But it's okay. We're mostly interstate anyway, so we good. Now, I'm back home now. I honestly stayed in Forest City a little bit longer than I planned on, but it's cool. I was so tired. That's really why I was taking all day to get back home. But I came back home and I got my Fabletics package. I ordered a bunch of stuff because they had a Labor Day sale going on. So I was like, might as well. Because I told myself I wasn't about to order no more active wear because I've been buying a lot lately. And I actually bought some more today. But they'll be a part of another video. But I'm going to show y'all what I got though. I got this black tank top. Very plain, but I feel like it'd be good to wear on those days where I don't feel like working out in a sports bra, where I just kind of want something light to cover up. Light and simple. And this is the black sports bra that I got as well. And it costs in the back, which I think is really cute. I got a lot of black stuff, it's like. <laughs> but black is my favorite color. And then I got some shorts as well. Black shorts, just plain black shorts. But y'all already got some plain black shorts, but I feel like you can never have too many pairs of plain black shorts or black leggings. Cause I got some black leggings too. Oh, I like how they have, oh, these are cute. They have fabulous on the back of them. Oh, these are cute. And I don't know if y'all can see it, but it has like this mesh design as well. Oh, I like these. These are really cute. The Sink High Waisted Perforated 7 8 Leggings. Oh, these are cute. I cannot wait to wear these. And then I also got this. Um, let me see. Is this a set? I got like this set as well. So let me open up this. It's like this ombre color. It's a sports bra. I think it's really cute. And then. I got the matching shorts as well. Ooh, look at these. These are cute. What's this? It's brown as well. 
I think that was the only set I got. I might have gotten some. No, I got a black set as well. Okay. And then I got another one of the sports bras. It costs at the back as well. But this this one is more like a, I don't know if you consider it nude, but like a brown nudish color. Or like maybe a coffee co coffee color. I don't know what exact color they want to label this, but this is cute as well. Okay, let's see. I think this is the blue tank top I got. Yeah, it's like a blue tank top as well. It's on the cover up with, sometimes not working out. Nothing too crazy. And then I got these black shorts, kind of similar to all this stuff. These black shorts is kind of similar to the brown shorts I showed you earlier. And I got, I think I got the top to match as well. This might be long sleeve. I can't really remember what I ordered. Yeah, this is a, a long sleeve, like crop top thing. And I typically don't work out in long sleeve things, but I'm excited to see what this looks like on me. This is cute. It's so cute. And then I also got these pink shorts. I think these are shorts. Definitely not shorts. <laughs> the sports bra. Ooh, how does this one go? <laughs> All right, I'm, hold on. I'm confused. Okay, so it crosses in the front as well as the back. I think it's gonna look real cute when you put it on. And let's see. Got blue, a blue sports bra as well. Looks like this, and at the back, it's just pretty simple at the back. Hold on. Am I holding it up right? It's very simple at the back. I think I can get that. And I also got some, I think these are leggings. Some blue leggings. Oops. I can get them together. Super plain. But I think they'll look cute. I'm really starting to like the way blue looks on me for some reason. And then the last thing we got is just white, white plain, like tank top. Well, you want, do you post a tank top? It looks like this in the front. And in the back it has opening, which I think is gonna be really cute too. But yeah, y'all, that's all I got. I got my mom a pair of leggings too, but I actually thought I got her two pairs of leggings, but I guess I only got her one. My bad mama. But y'all, I'm about to put this stuff away. I might try some of it on, but I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of tired, but we'll see. But I'll check in with y'all in a little bit. Hey, y'all, so I went to sleep probably around nine-ish. I'm not gonna say it was unintentional, but I noticed I was getting really tired. So I was like, kind of dozing off on the couch. So I got in bed and I got some good sleep, but I woke up super early. I think I ended up waking up around like 2.45, 3 o'clock. So now it's like almost six. And I'm, it's like, when I wake up this early and I'm like still up and I'm not really tired, I struggle because I'm like, should I do something productive or should I just like continue scrolling my phone, which I feel like, that's the problem. Like, why do we always feel the need to be productive? Like, why can't we just exist? So I'm gonna just exist. Let me stop doing that. <laughs> because I know it's looking a mess but I got on this the sports bra that I just got from Fabletics the kind of nude one with the black shorts and I am kind of bloated because I ate this morning and I'm about to get a workout in before I start work because I woke up a little early so I feel like I should be at least a little bit productive and get my body moving and I think it'll benefit me as far as like my anxiety goes I'm feeling really anxious so Let's get more. I will be using my stepper. I'm gonna go for 10 minutes, but I'll probably end up doing more like 20, 30.
right, y'all. I'm back now. I am at my desk now. Starting work. I got my first beating in probably like five minutes now. But I went on to wash my hair because I'm supposed to be going out later. So it was time to wash my hair. Honestly, I should have washed it <laughs> last week. Because I think it's been like two weeks since the last time I washed my hair. And you know, it honestly it was kind of dirty. I should have been did that. But it's done now. But yeah, that's where we are. We got our workout in. We got our hair washed. We already done started the work day. I think this morning has been a little bit productive. Even though I woke up super early. Because usually when I wake up way earlier than I expect, I just spend all that time scrolling my phone. And I'm proud of myself for not doing it this time. So my meeting ended about 30 minutes earlier. Early. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I done got so tired. <laughs> I should have known the sleepiness was going to hit me when I woke up that early. But, you know, I might take a nap on my lunch break and I'll be all good. But we're going to see. But, ooh, it just hit me. So, y'all, I got these little shelves, acrylic shelves from Amazon. And I'm thinking of putting some of my perfumes in here, like my favorite ones in here. Because um, I really don't know what I want to put on top of my bookshelves. Because I had these candles here from my previous video, like one of my previous videos. And I didn't mind the way that looked, but I don't really know what I want to put on top of these shelves. Help me out, y'all. I don't know if y'all can tell, but like the legs aren't like straight exactly. It's like got me questioning whether these are actually sturdy or not. Yeah, I think this is going to be a bad idea because if these crush, that's at least like $600 that's already gone down the drain because these are not cheap. What are you cooking, Mama? Hey, You want to say something? <laughs> to me or is that the right word like, I don't ever want to like give y'all the picture that everything is always perfect in my life because it's definitely not but I was I just wasn't really in a good headspace last well the majority of last week and I think it was mainly because I wasn't sleeping well so you know I'm just prone to overthinking a lot of just just this stuff when I'm not like well rested so I got through that because this weekend was honestly really refreshing I saw my auntie I saw my sister mom and dad today and my church family too so that was really good um, and I feel recharged going into the new week, but yeah, and also I'm just kind of in a weird place with vlogging because y'all know like a lot of my channel is vlogs, but lately I feel like I've been enjoying making other content aside from vlogs, so it's just, I'm just kind of struggling getting back into a rhythm of vlogging, and also it's just a little bit discouraging at times when I, vlog, when I do post vlogs because other videos on my channel perform a lot better than my vlogs, and I, it kind of makes sense because I think this is something like other youtubers have noticed as well so yeah so it's just kind of a little bit confusing it's like i do enjoy making the vlogs but editing them sometimes takes a while and then when they don't perform well it's kind of discouraging so i'm like should i even make vlogs or should i just focus on other content to kind of grow my channel and then come back to making vlogs but i also do i do enjoy vlogging like i said and i also like looking back on like the memories to like see like what i was doing like at a certain point in my life so yeah, so I don't think I'll ever stop completely making vlogs, but I don't know if I really want to focus on vlogs exactly because I don't want to bore y'all either because my life is very like routine and I don't really do a whole lot. So it's like I don't want to bore y'all to death with my everyday life, which I hope y'all are bored. But if y'all have any suggestions on content that y'all would like to see included in my vlogs so I can spruce them up a little bit, please let me know. 
but I'm just trying to figure out a way to like incorporate vlogs on my channel as well as other content too because I don't want to get bored making videos and I don't want y'all to get bored either so that's where we are with the vlogs but but we'll see what we come up with and also like this past week I was saying that like, I, I was kind of feeling like I was in a bad headspace and it's because I don't know like this the past few months I feel like I really just haven't taken like an extended break from anything where there's like my actual day-to-day -day job creating content and then also mixing in writing too so I think that's kind of contributing to like to me um kind of struggling to just feel motivated to like actually do the work so yeah I kind of feel like I was getting a little bit burnt out and so I, I just really want to take a break and I just saw um Jackie Iron and she posted a video recently about like why she loved YouTube and she also posted a few things on her story yesterday that kind of resonated with me too because it's like sometimes people are really villainized to taking breaks and taking risks when they need to but at the end of the day like like you you're not replaceable like if you if you need a break from your job or whatever that is like whatever you need a break from if you need a break just take it because nobody else cares about you as much as you care about you so if you know you need to take a break take that break so that's why i've really tried to like um develop a healthier relationship with the idea of being productive and taking risks because i do prioritize on risks like y'all like if you follow me or if you know me in real life like you know i value my naps my sleep all that stuff and it's like people will try to make you feel good to take a break and make it seem like you lazy but if i need some rest i'm gonna take it so that's just where we are too and i just kind of getting a little burnt out i felt i felt it coming on so yeah I, I feel more hopeful going into the new week and i do feel like my mind is a little bit it's a little bit feeling it's feeling a little bit creative just because i took a little bit of a break and i think you need that especially as creative since your mind is like constantly going when you when you're creative when you're somebody that writes like actually writes books and somebody who makes content too i feel like our minds are just always programmed to think about how can you create content and sometimes it's good to get yourself a break just so you can kind of get back into like the to the best like to your best creative self i hope i'm explaining that right hopefully it makes sense to y'all and then also like my sunday school lesson today was kind of like a lot of it was focused on like making like good decisions and being patient and in prayer whenever you're making major decisions in your life too and i think that kind of goes back into like some other stuff i was feeling too just you know i think our 20s are just a very like my 20s have been good for the most part but it has been a lot of like self-discovery and you know trying to make sure you're making the right decisions at the right time and not rushing god and trusting that what he says is going to come to pass like, i think you deal with a lot of that in your 20s if you're in your 20s you know what i'm talking about if you're not in your 20s yet yeah, you, you will know what i'm talking about and so that was kind of refreshing having that lesson too so i was like really glad that that was the lesson i was teaching on so yeah i really feel good going into the new week because i really kind of need that reminder on patience and why it's so important to stay close to god in prayer so yeah that's where we are and i'm heading back home to memphis now I have to drop some food off at my sister's place. My mom, she be she be leaving us with some food. You know, I, I love her for that. <laughs> so yeah, I will check back in with y'all a little bit later. Hey y'all, it's Monday now and we are back to work. I woke up a little bit early than I intended, but that's okay because I went to bed super early, y'all. Super early for me anyway. I think I dozed off somewhere around like nine and i mean i kept waking up a little bit on and off but i think that's because i wasn't really planning on going to sleep there because i was watching the dallas cowboys game i got a feeling it's gonna be a disappointing season but anywho i'm glad i got some good rest anyway because i because shoot like i said i went to bed between nine and ten and i woke up around like 7 45 so y'all do the math i got some good sleep I did have a bad dream, though, but that's a whole other story. Um, Yeah, I started my work day already. It should be a pretty chill day. I only got one meeting, and it's not until, like, 4. And, yeah, my apartment, I set up the vibes. I got my window open, y'all. I can feel fall. It's finally trying to come in. I got my candles. And I got candle lit up in here and in my office, so it smells really good in here. And I even got my diffuser going. So, we all about the good smells this morning. I got my perfume on. Like, I'm really about to go somewhere. <laughs> but, yeah, this should be a pretty chill day. But if I do anything exciting, I will check back in. Yeah. 
Hey y'all, I am back. It is now Tuesday, which is typically my busiest day of the week, but it's been a pretty good day so far. Honestly, can't complain. I have one more meeting left, and now I'm about to take my lunch break for an hour. I'm not really hungry because I kind of was already eating. <laughs> but yeah, today's been a good day. I just posted the TikTok probably about a couple hours ago of my Forever Mood candles, and Jackie Ina actually responded to my video. I will insert the comment somewhere on the screen but yeah oh my gosh y'all i wish she would see my youtube channel because i love her candles but anywho now i'm trying to decide if i want to work out on my lunch break because i'm not sleepy so i don't want to take a nap and i actually been going to sleep at a decent time so i don't really want to mess that up um or if i want to start organizing my closet i kind of feel like i should do the closet stuff because i've been putting it off for like probably like a month and I know if I wait to after work, I'm probably going to be less inclined to do it, but I'll be more likely to work out. Well, not more likely to work out. I'll still work out after work if I don't do it now. So, okay, no more I talk about it. The closet is a better option. dang half of the Mexican pieces back for good y'all look at it it's almost gone but <laughs> y'all get the point it's like the second best day ever like <sighs> i've been waiting for this one i don't know why i was just really craving chinese so i got some gyoza and some chicken fried rice i can actually get it open and i have not had breakfast yet so i am starving I'm about to tear this up. I ordered some insomnia cookies to treat myself because I feel like this has been, just been a long week. It's been a, a pretty decent week, but it's just been a long week. So I ordered insomnia cookies. And one thing about that insomnia cookies on Bill Street, every time I get cookies delivered, I always get extra cookies. I think the last time I ordered, I got like three extra cookies. And today I got two extra cookies as well. <laughs> so I got the six pack. So I got two sugar cookies. They ended up giving me two chocolate chip cookies and two chocolate chunks. So I got an extra chocolate chip cookie and then i got the vegan birthday cake as well and they gave me extra one of those so shout out to them i've never actually tried the vegan birthday cake one so let's try it together it's really good i will order this again it honestly tastes very similar to the sugar cookie but with sprinkles added. It's really good. I like this one. And it's like nice and buttery. 10 out of 10. I feel like I've said in so many videos that I was trying to organize my candle closet. And I finally think I found a way. I cleared up this little cabinet. I don't know why I said closet a few minutes ago. Or a few seconds ago. A few seconds ago. Gosh, I'm getting sleepy. But I cleared out this cabinet. So now all of this is like this whole entire section here can be dedicated to candles. So I got Forever Mood stuff down here. I do have my olive seed soap candle right here, but I should move it to the other side with, with the other stuff. And then Bath the Body Works in the middle and in the top, you know, that it's not really the most organized, kind of just a catch all for some of everything, but that's okay. And the top up there is kind of like the same. And I got my room sprays right here. And I do have some more candles dispersed throughout my apartment. And they're going to stay there because I feel like if I try to add anything else to these here, it's just going to mess up the flow. So we're just going to leave it as it is. Yeah. 